Welcome guys, welcome to the Tech Trio. I'm Perspective, I'm this Lego is Lego Bruh. Bruh. And uh, this right here is Modware Clothing, who won't be joining us tonight, because he's got other things to do that are uh, very important. So, um, he'll be joining us next week though. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, this week we got a couple of topics for you. It's gonna be a short stream tonight. But, uh, I guess to start things off, um, we're only going to be streaming on Twitch tonight. We have a couple of plans to do some, probably uh, change things up a little bit. And so just, you know, stay tuned and see uh, what we got coming up. Right. But also, if you haven't already, though, go ahead and head over to our YouTube channel. You just go on YouTube, look up the Tech Trio, go over there and go ahead and click subscribe. Because if we can hit 100 subscribers... We could get our own personal link. And um, also check us out on Facebook, which is another streaming platform that we stream on. Um, that's in my worst department. Um, just go on Facebook.com face, um, forward slash the tech trio. So you can find us there as well. All right. Well, uh, tonight we're going to kick things off with something real quick just to kind of bring it up. For all you tech people out there, Computex is going to be starting in about a week, May 28th to June 1st. Uh, this is where they talk about the latest in tech and uh, things that are going to be coming up as well. Um, there's going to be, I think, okay, there's speculation that during Computex they're going to reveal the new Navi graphics chip. Uh, that I didn't personally do too much research on, but it's a lot of speculation that it's going to be a very, very good graphics chip. But we'll have to see when uh, they show us some info on Computex. I want to see if there's anything new that's going to come out from Corsair. That's what I'm curious about. Because since they, hey, uh, was it because they're now, El El they own the rights to Elgato Gaming, right? Yeah. So I want to see what's going to come out with with that, at least. Like, Corsair is going to start branding their own stuff with Elgato with newer stuff. Like a, like a newer capture card, you know, um, you know, another stream deck coming out that has more functionality. Something that's probably going to be connected with the Corsair program. Was it IQ? Yeah, IQ. Yeah. yeah. So I want to see, like, because that'd be a pretty interesting because to at least have everything now compiled into one program instead of having two separate programs, you know, that you have to monitor and manage. Yeah. This lady staring at us. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so <clears throat> our next topic, uh, this is from CBS News. Uh, so Google stops their deal with Huawei and so Huawei phones no longer get the latest Google updates and the only uh, well Android updates I should say and the only thing the only Android software that they'll be able to use system wise will be the one that's in their open source project yeah so uh, basically you can't use apps like you know Facebook YouTube all of that on there even uh, Chrome so for those of you who I guess those of for those people that currently have Huawei phones uh, if you were able to get all the updates now you won't be able to get them uh, later after they finalize all of this and uh, the reason why is they feel that uh, Huawei can't be trusted but there's no although there's no proof on Huawei actively spying on anyone um, there's a security threat there according to those that are concerned in this now I've heard of Huawei's but are their phones really that are their phones that good uh they were supposed to be very affordable but very like very affordable but good phones like I guess they are doing better than Apple because I get, I think they're the second largest phone company. Really? Yeah, or phone manufacturer. I mean. Huh. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I mean, there's uh, that one uh, YouTuber that I watch when it comes to like uh, phone reviews. Um, I forgot, I forgot his name, but um, he's he's like done a lot of reviews when it comes to Huawei phones, and he's talked highly of them. So I just never thought that you could really get those like here in the states. I never see them like in stores in like either T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, or something like that. So I don't really know much about them, but. If they're good, they're good. But they were trying to get them here in the United States. Really? Yeah, there was a big push on that. They almost did. Uh, but yeah, all that talk on them spying on us. <laughs> yeah, because so I guess in other countries, Huawei is connected to even hospitals too. What? Yeah, like it has very deep reach. So like you can literally have a like so they can literally check on like like medical history stuff. Well, I don't, I don't know specifics, but uh, I, I think it was, it was a video that I was watching. I don't remember exactly which one. They mentioned that Huawei um, technology and products are in hospitals as well. Like, it's really, really deep as far as, like, it has a lot of reach. Oh, okay. G G. Damn Huawei. Um, so I guess we'll go on to my next topic here. Um, I don't know if you want to pull that up. It's uh, on the Facebook Messenger. It's going to be talking about all the PS4 games that have been confirmed for E3 of 2019. Um, so now if you guys know that E3 is going to be coming up, it's going to be coming up. Uh, it starts in June 11th. It's going to last three days, so June 11th to the 13th. Um, there have been a couple of games that have been confirmed for, uh, for PS4 game, uh, for the PS4. Um, the reason why I'm talking about it is because I just recently got a PS4 yet again. Um. <laughs> don't sell it this time. <laughs> shut up. Alright. Um, I don't plan on selling it because of the, some of the games that are actually on this list that, that have caught in my eye so far. Um, Anthem, that's already, that's already out, but from what I heard, from what I heard with Anthem... Is that Anthem is gonna become a free to play game? What? Yeah. What? Because because sales have been so bad with that game, and how there's so much glitches and bugs and everything, and that like a lot of people, pretty much fifty percent. Um, because I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but um, this is this is news a couple while back. Um, more than fifty percent of Anthem's original players from day one have already left the game and not even touched it ever since. Because of how bad that game... Because because of how bad that game is. Yeah. Now, I can't say a whole lot because I'm not a day one player, but yet I started playing it. Um, I've even streamed it a couple uh, for, like I think, like two days. But one of the bugs that I've come across is that it would immediately... It like, I would play... Sometimes I would play like probably like two minutes of it and the game will crash. It would just really? shut off completely. I look. I would look at my temps and everything. My temps are normal on my computer. It's just the game itself would crash. Even the even the Origin app would close itself too. I would check if there was like an update or anything like that. But no, there's no update. Um, I did. Um, I did. However, updated my my uh, my drivers for my graphics card, and that kind of fixed the problem for like kind of bugs and crashes. But it was still happening. But yeah, like I said, um, there have been talks about Anthem that's gonna go. Anthem's gonna go to free to play. <laughs> so I guess when you updated your driver, it it like worked for a little bit and then started crashing again. Yeah, Is that what, oh, pretty man. pretty much. But but not to a certain extent where it wasn't. I wasn't able to play it because I was able to at least stream it for like thirty to an hour and then it would start. It would start close. It would. It would crash on me. I would have. I would check my. I would have my, you know, my temps up on my other monitor, and it will look fine, especially after it crashes. So I don't know what's that. I don't know if that's a bug with that. Um, Apex Legends that's already out as well. Battlefield Five, which is already out. Um, the B Simulator. I don't know what the hell the fucking B Simulator <laughs> is. <laughs> I guess. Like, what you gotta make your own hive and feed the queen or what? It could be that, or you're uh, a, a beekeeper. <laughs> Fucking no. Um, a game that I'm excited about, and I know that Modware is excited about. Borderlands Three is gonna be coming out as well. Um, 
And a game that I'm particularly... Um, two games that I see on here, which are the next games, are going to be Cyberpunk 2077 and Doom Eternal. That's going to be... Interesting. Fucking, Doom yeah. Eternal. See, that's a game that I would want to get on the PC, but I would also would like to get it on the PS4. So it's 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 difficult trying to decide which one I'm going to get uh, first. Um, and then there's still more... Uh, the list goes on... And then also there's that new Star Wars game that's going to be coming out, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And then Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, <clears throat> which actually looks pretty good too. So check it out on E3. Um, like I said, they were uh, E3 will start in June 11th to the 13th. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be talking a lot more. Um, they're going to add a little more games to that list. And then I'm pretty sure they're going to go in depth with some of these games. Hopefully, Borderlands 3, Cyberpunk, uh, Doom Eternal, and Star Wars The Jedi Fallen Order, and possibly uh, the Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I haven't seen any trailers of that, but um, I've seen like little teasers here and there, and it looks really good. It really does. Um, you know, that's what I said about... Uh, what was that one that I bought off of Green Man Gaming? Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> and it looked good, but I never touched the game, man. I, I played it. I really played it. And that's a really, like, that's like a really team-based type play of game. Like, yeah. you have to be, you can't fuck around in that game. You can't. Because you have so many players, especially, like, big streamers, like, um, Ammunition. Um, I don't know if uh, Dr. Disrespect plays that game. I'm sure he does. Um, he did a little bit that and, I've seen. Yeah, um, and I know Shroud plays that a lot because Shroud used a, Shroud's a um, a Counter Strike player. You know that's how he came to fame because he was so good at Counter Strike. So that's right up his alley. Other than you know BGs here and there. So yeah, that's uh, that's Rainbow Six. I like I said, I played it. Probably I played like two matches of it, and it's just. It's it's weird. I'll say that. It's not your typical FPS type of game. But know? did you like it though or what? Mixed feelings. Okay. Mixed feelings. I I think I played SWAT. <clears throat> Do you remember that game? SWAT? Um I don't think I have. Is that is that the game? Hold on. I gotta find out. SWAT game. Yeah, I think it was SWAT 4. How old is this game? Yeah. So, I played SWAT, and... I don't know, I thought maybe it would be a similar experience. Because mm -hmm. uh, SWAT was not... It wasn't bad from when I played it. it was I okay. mean, um, if SWAT 4 had the same mechanics like um, Rainbow Six Siege did, then, it would, like, uh, with Rainbow Six Siege, you're, you have a bunch of, like... Breaching and clearing, you gotta yeah, save the hostages. Exactly. So yeah, so okay, so Rainbow Six Siege is pretty much <clears throat> almost the same like that then. Okay, okay. So if you if you liked if you liked this playing SWAT four, then you'd probably like uh, Rainbow Six Siege. But like I said, you have to like find players who are willing to play the game, who have you know communication skills. And yeah, all that who are kind willing of. to play it right. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much, dude. Like, you can't go in there and be like, yeah, I'm just going to blow everything up. Bro, let me shoot here. Uh. Oh, man. Yeah, you never thought I'd play a game like SWAT, did you? No. I, <laughs> no to be honest, no. I'm, like, I'm surprised myself, too. You're like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I... Kim didn't believe it either. I was like, yeah, like, I like military movies and stuff like that. She's like, no way, really? I'm like, well, yeah, I mean... Yeah. But then you have to also think about it too. We come from a family where we're military based, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not surprising that you know yourself would be into it, and you know me being a me being a veteran myself, you know, obviously I'm gonna enjoy it as well. Um, another another topic that I want to talk about real quick is um is is another it's a it's a free to play game. Um, if anybody has ever played um, Monster Hunter World, um, this one, this one is pretty much just like it. it um, Dauntless. This game has been out for for a while now. 
um, and I guess it was in it was in early it was like in late alpha or early beta or anything like or it was like in think beta, but Dauntless has been officially la launches out of beta with crossplay support. So I think if you have I think it's available like on on PS4 and Xbox. Um, you could be able to um, you're gonna be able to play with other characters. <clears throat> I'm not a big MMO fan. Um, I, I have played this game Dauntless and um, it really does have a very MMO feel to it. Like this is something that probably like I have a feeling that you would get into. <laughs> There's not a whole I mean when it comes to like sandboxing and all that kind of stuff, you mm. know Dauntless doesn't really have that um, have that. It's more of like you're you go around, you go to different worlds, and then you just pretty much you hunt for monsters, you do your quests, you level up, you get the best gear, and it's pretty much about so it. theme park MMO. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's different with Dauntless and um, and uh, Monster Hunter World is that Dauntless has a um, has a very Fortnite feel to it. Oh yeah. no! When I mean Fortnite, so is that this trailer here that we're seeing? Yes. It's, okay. That is okay. it. That's that's exactly that's Dauntless right there. So as you can see, that Fortnite feel. See the character model. The character model it looks sculpting. very very similar ish. Exactly. In style, it is, dude. For sure. It is. It's it was just weird, but. Like when I played it, I was actually having some pretty. Um, I was having some fun with it. You could play with mouse and keyboard, or you could play with a controller, whichever one you like. Um, but you know, it's very interesting, and to see a game like that be cross-platform, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be really interested in that game. Oh man. Well, I mean, speaking of MMOs, I was playing Arcade for like <laughs> two days. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to log in and pay for my taxes and stuff, but <laughs> I'm not sure how long that's going to last because I heard that, uh, as soon as I heard that WoW Classic beta launched a few days ago, I just lost interest, man. <laughs> because uh, WoW, because, because WoW is what you started on. Yeah. You know, you've played, you've played Warcraft games for so long. And then you were there for World of Warcraft when it first released. Yeah. So it's not surprising that you would... A game that you were enjoying for a while, which was Arc Age, and then, you know, with the sandbox-type-esque, you know, feel to it, you know, it wouldn't be surprised that a game that you hold dear, you know, very close to you, you'd, <coughs> you'd want to go back to it. You know, so... Well, I mean, you're freaking right, man. <laughs> But I've but I've played WoW too, but I don't, just don't think I can get into it. Cause like I said, I'm not an MMO player. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> it's all. Good. It's just okay. So I just have a lot of memories, particularly classic WoW. Because first, okay, so Raph was like, "Yeah, let's go fucking um play some WoW. Let's play WoW. Play WoW with me." I'm like, "No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not interested." And then all of a sudden, he freaking he got me to go over to Fry's to go buy freaking WoW. We bought WoW at Fry's together. <laughs> and then, okay. And then we started playing Night Elf. I think it was on Dune Mall, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And, bro, we would go around uh, the starting area of Night Elf. Yeah. And we would, I would start gathering linen cloth because we were able to sell that for money. Yeah. And, uh, well, for gold, of course. Mm -hmm. And then... Freaking people would come up to us and start helping us out. Here, you can have this. <laughs> because they thought we were girls, dude. And we would just play it off. Oh, hell we would no. Just, he's like, there. I would log on and be like, yeah, this guy thought I was a girl. He gave me a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I was like, what the? Oh, man. Dude, like, that's usually like how like how like when it comes to those type of games. I don't know. like I, that, That's the one thing that kind of like that kind of makes me cringe or like creeps me out. You know, <laughs> you you go into a game. You know, whether it be like that, you know, and I and I've experienced this with the first MMO that I played. Yeah. That I know I talked about Maple Story. Yeah. You create a female character. You go in that game. You you know you're new and everything. People will start dropping you bags of money. <laughs> Even in there too. Yeah, dude. Like I kid you not. Like <clears throat> I would go in there, right? I wouldn't be talking. I wouldn't say anything. It's like, hey, can somebody give me money? I wouldn't say that. 
I would literally go in, go into like the the main towns, yeah, and go to the spot where everybody was hanging out, and then literally, which is fucking weird, and I don't know if they would still do this, but I remember every, any server that you would hop on, and then you go to those main like main cities, you'll have people saying like. Can somebody please be my girlfriend? I was oh, like, <laughs> dude, I've I've seen that before. I've it's seen that so before in WoW. Bad. And so, I mean, I've seen it in WoW too when I was playing. But and it's just like immediately, someone would come up to me and be like, "Here you go. You want to be my girlfriend?" Drop me like ten thousand gold. I'm like, what the hell oh is my this? Good. I would like pick it up and just say, "Okay, thanks. Bye." <laughs> God, people are so thirsty and lonely on it, the internet. Oh, it's so man. bad. Like, I don't, it's just, I don't know, man. That's it's, hey, it, it creeps me out a little bit. Me and Raph, we were we were teenagers, and we just got into the game, and we're like, hell yeah, this game is sick. This game is <laughs> sick. And, you know, to get items and stuff, and to get a lot of help, we're like, okay, we we're going to... We need to take advantage of this. <laughs> oh my gosh! But him more than other, him more than me, because he would like straight up tell. So my friend Grave, we'll just call him Grave. Freaking, he would straight up do the kissy faces and all of that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, people would. Hey, come do this uh, dungeon with us. Come do this dungeon with us. Mm-hmm. Come on! And actually, his, the character name was Aya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come hey, I can do this dungeon with us. Oh, I'm like, what yeah. the heck? You know that reminds me, that reminds me of um, of when you told me about that RP server. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah, straight yeah. up reminds me of that RP server because I remember when you told me about it, I hopped on. And I was like, okay, like where's the where's the role playing at? You would start off the character and you would just go into like this little t- like moon guard. Yeah, moon guard. <laughs> You That's go the server. In, was it Moonguard? Moonguard was the server, and then the um, town, we would make an alliance. Yeah. And we would go over to Goldshire. Oh, my God. And yeah. then it was at, it was in that the hotel. The, yeah, like, in where the you, inn. The inn. So you would go to the inn. Like, there's nobody outside. You go in there into the inn, and then next thing you know, your game starts lagging. You're like, what the fuck's going on? And then you just see all these fucking characters <laughs> just pop out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. I was like, holy fuck, dude, there's so many. And then I remember in particular, I was just like walking around and then you go into one of the, the rooms in the inns and you just see people fucking half naked in there and they Dude, just start yeah. doing like dirty talking shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they cracked down since I showed you. I noticed because um, people were putting in forums and my friends who happened to main in that server were talking about it. Yeah. Because they would have, people would have the people who would ERP, erotic role play. Oh my they God. would have this add-on, right, where you would, I think it's right-click or something on their portrait when you have them on your target, right? and you could read their biography. <laughs> and their bio- some people would have, like, the most, the most graphic, graphic that's, biography. That's too much, man. That's just, ugh. Yeah. But, I mean, for, me, for us, that was later in WoW, but... As far as WoW Classic, oh man, sorry for getting on a tangent, guys. It's just, I love this game for the moments that it's created for me in my life. But yeah, freaking, uh, there was stuff like that, but I'm just really interested in it. And it started a few days ago. I don't remember exactly what day because my mind is spinning from thinking about all that. But stress test number one starts tomorrow. It's for two days, tomorrow and Thursday. Oh, God. Yours truly got the <laughs> invite. Yeah. So I'm going to try and stream it tomorrow before I go to work. It really sucks that I got to go to work. But, hey, you know what? Got to make that money somehow. <laughs> but, yeah, tomorrow and Thursday, the 21st and 22nd. I mean, 22nd and 23rd. It's going to be live. And so we're going to... Everyone, if you got your invite, just log in so we can stress the fuck out of those servers. <laughs> Jeez, dude. So it hasn't been officially released, though, right? Because I saw I saw no. that it was uh, in August, right? Yeah, so there's going to be stress test in August. Or, I mean, in August. Stress test this month, which is tomorrow and the next Thursday, day. Right. Stress test in uh, June, 
Um, and let's then, and see. And then what, a full release in August? Yeah, uh, June, and then July there's another stress test, and then the full release August, I think it's like 25 or something? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Now the question remains, do I want to hop on and try it out again? I don't know. I can't. Hey. It's hard for me to devote devote myself to, you know, that kind of, like those kind of games cuz, you know, I like right now I'm currently devoting my life in Destiny 2, so that's already difficult cuz the only time I get to play are my days off. So you and me both, man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you get you work during sometimes you work during the days and then you're off like at twelve <laughs> and then you have the rest of the day to play. So sorry about that guys. Yeah, we're this is still beta testing um frame here that you guys are seeing. But oh man. Oh you guys are seeing my black PNG. Oh no <laughs> Oh no if you guys want to see what it looks like, here you go. <laughs> Black PNG. See that porn? Just <laughs> fucking stupid. Oh, hell no. Fucking Black PNG. Oh, man. So, if you end up going, once you start playing this, you have to create, are you like, do you have your same account? So, what happens is you go into the Battle.net launcher, right? Right. And then uh, you have to go to the uh, bottom left where you pick the account that you're using and you'll see like for example you I think it's like Kuriam or something like yeah. that and then you can change you change that into a uh, beta stress test mm -hmm. yeah that's how you know you get the invite right but no like like you would still like say for because for example for you you haven't played in like how many years already you know it's been years you haven't played if you go back into it now with the, with the classic returning, are you still going to have your same characters, your same gear, you know, the amount of gold and everything? Are you still going to have that same stuff or is it just going to be a complete, like, clean slate? Oh, okay. So check it out. Check it out. So as far... So here's some specifics on how that's going to work. Mm -hmm. The uh, subscription for regular WoW, let's just call it Battle for Azeroth. Right. Um... WoW Classic is included in that subscription. So you pay for Battle for Azeroth monthly, mm -hmm. you'll get that basically for free. Right. And so those are two separate servers. Oh, yeah. okay. Because Classic is just going to be all vanilla, all things vanilla. Right. All the mechanics, all the items, everything. Right. So you're not going to have all those extra features now. Yeah, like no raid finder, um, none of that shit. No instant like damage when switching weapons. No, you gotta, you gotta chop on a freaking snake to gain, you know, skill points to be able to use your swords or axes or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, the olden days. Okay. Yeah, which I like, was not a part of. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. Like, I don't know. I just. It was the first game, here I am again, but it was the first game where it was like, it was revolutionary for its time. Right. So. Okay. Well, it was nice knowing your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so I figured we'll hop on to the next topic, which I'm going to go ahead and cover. Um, this is something definitely that Mod would uh, would pick up on because it's his his field of expertise, which is comes to um, retro gaming stuff. Um, this What's is a game that hell? I this is a game that I've heard of. I don't remember if I've ever played it. It's been like it, this is game was this game was like released a long time ago. Um, but Earth uh, Earthworm Jim one and two is um, what's it called is getting a SNES reprint. Uh, courtesy of I am 8-bit now that name sounds familiar because I've seen that name like somewhere like around reddit so um, I guess if you have if you still have like an SNES um, and say for example you wanted a copy of Earthworm Jim 1 and 2 you could you could purchase these cartridges and you would still be able to play them that's only if you still own an SNES 
because it looks like it's just the cartridge itself. Um, we own one. <laughs> but I've never played this game, um, but I have I have seen gameplays of it, and it, it looks interesting. If um, that probably a game that I would end up be playing when I was a kid. You know, I've never owned an SNES though. The only the only console that I remember owning was uh, from the beginning was N sixty four. Yeah, that is yeah N sixty four. So, shake <sighs> shake. <laughs> that game would always have memories for me. Yeah, that so was a fun shit. game though. Believe it or not. Yep. I don't know what it was. Mischief Makers. Yep. Look it up. <laughs> it was just, it was just funny. So. Um, talking about talking about Mischief Maker, um, or in retro gaming in general, back when I was in the military, you know, I worked in a warehouse, you know, a big open warehouse where we could really literally do whatever we want. We had so much downtime on there, and um, what I did with my old phone was that I turned it into a console. I downloaded an emulator, and I then that. I had a Bluetooth controller that I had. And I literally downloaded an N64 emulator, and I downloaded, like, all the N64 games. Fucking the original Super Smash Brothers, fucking um, Yoshi's Story, and Mischief Maker, fucking GoldenEye. All those games that I was, <coughs> I was playing, like, those the entire time, like, all my downtime in the, in the fucking military. Fucking my, um, all the other soldiers would come by and be like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, I'm playing a game. What are you playing? And they look over, and it's like... You're playing Smash Brothers? I was like, yeah, dude, hell yeah. He's like, he's like, how'd you do that? I was like, bro, I'm a hacker. <laughs> I'm a hacker. <laughs> like literally, he was like, can you hack my phone? Like I was like, I was like, what? What are you trying to play? He's like, oh, I'm trying to play some old Game Boy game. I was like, dude, it's easy. He's like, I will pay you a hundred bucks right now if you can do it. I was like, Damn. Oh, and I did. I literally did it, dude. Like, literally. He, did he pay you? Yeah, he paid okay, me. Okay, as long as he you gave paid me you. money up front, like, right away. As soon as we got off work, I was like, all right, well, let's head back to the barracks, and then I'll start doing everything for you. We literally did that, and then we went to our local shopping center, kind of like a mini mall. Yeah, yeah. And which is where I got my game controller, and they just so happened to have one over there. And he ended up buying it, and then he told me to show him how to do everything. I was like, okay, this is how you do it and everything. Literally after since like ever since then, I would see him in the warehouse. You know, before we even started working, he would be sitting in there fucking playing. Oh <laughs> man! But so, but this is a uh, but yeah, this game. Uh, so they're gonna be releasing this game um, for the SNES. If you still have one, it's a reprint. Um, it says here that pre-orders start today, actually. Um, yeah, 21st of May, and it starts. It started at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, for a limited run of the original two SNES games combined on one new uh, S, uh, Super Nintendo cartridge. So you're going to get both uh, Earthward Gym 1 and 2 all on one cartridge. <coughs> so if you're, uh, if you're excited about that game... Let's see. That's um, dope. I rented that back when um, Blockbuster was open when I was a kid. Oh the first boy. one. I thought it was kind of strange because the artwork, I don't know. I wasn't... You maybe maybe I'm a it. fucking picky-ass dude, but yeah, I was not feeling the artwork. Hey, you know what? I can't complain because I'm the same way too. Um, it looks like here... They certainly look lovely, although the price might stop you from taking a punt on one of the... One of the cow print cartridges. Wow, each, much? Each one will cost you one hundred thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Holy crap! One thirty-four ninety-nine. That's a lot. Like if you're if you're a hardcore like retro gamer and who's willing to spend so much money on these retro games and everything, by all means, <coughs> modware. <laughs> modware. If you're watching right now, <laughs> you by all means go ahead and do it, but. Like, like, damn, like, you can, I could probably, if, if I wanted to right now, I could probably look on eBay and, like, try to find these games, just as separate cartridges, you know, Earthward Gym 1 and then 2, just two separate cartridges, I could probably find those, like, like, a lot cheaper than what the price is going for right now. 135 bucks. That's fucking ridiculous. But, 
Also, if you do end up pre-ordering one of these, it is that how much it's going to cost you, and the shipping begins in November. So. That's true. Uh, Kim does like this game, too. She is a fan of Earthworm Jim. So what? You get a bite? <laughs> <sighs> you would have to find a, any uh, fucking SNES. Well, up. see, we have one. What? Yeah. Okay. We have one. It's just... Uh, we would need to get cables for it. Yeah, let alone a CRTV. But as far as that goes, that cartridge is probably freaking sold out already, if anything, you know? Well, yeah, because it started the, the pre-order has already started today. Yeah, yeah. So your your chances are, you know... Very slim. Pretty much. So... Um, it also says here these will be mixed in randomly, so you have a one twenty chance of receiving the rare design, which is that cow print. <laughs> so, you can either buy the cow print directly, is what you're saying, or you ram- randomly get it in the stack. I believe so. Huh. Well, that's cool. You're gambling, pretty much. <laughs> you're you're loot gambling. crate. Oh my god. Loot crate. You're this in... is illegal stuff now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So if you look at the if you look at the image up top, it's a 25th anniversary classic cartridge, and right below it, in small lettering, it says approximately one in 20 boxes will randomly contain a rare cow print cartridge. <sighs> one out of 20. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot for sure. Oh man. So, yeah, you're going to get it. If you end up getting this game, you're going to get the, the pink cartridge. But if you're lucky enough, you'll get that uh, that cow print. And approximately 100 of them will be made only. Just 100. That's it. Yeah, I lost my chance. <laughs> for real, dude. Fucking for real. Oh, man. What else you got for us, Ron? Well... I, I didn't get a chance to mention this earlier, but people are they're reporting bugs that are just features from the past. Now I I wish I had more time to read this, mm-hmm. but I I'm pretty sure I was listening to the quartering uh, earlier this week and he was saying that you know how you'll go to a mob, right? And right. you attack it and then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, uh, looks like I'm not able to kill it. And then you start running away, right? And it's chasing you. Yeah. And then it freaking glitches out and then teleports away. Right. And disappears. Right. People are reporting those kind of things like bugs. Is that such a bad thing, though? Because well, you're you're going after a, you're, you're going after an ad that you can't kill, and then you start running away, and then it just disappears. Yeah. Well... Thing about just remember these were regular occurrences these were regular things right, right. that we were accustomed to seeing because it just happens that way right people are reporting it as a bug mm. so um that was one of the things that kind of stuck out in my mind um i think they had a little more in here so torrent hip boxes are larger because they're bigger um, sitting could cause certain combat effects to not trigger. Completed quests were marked with dots and not question marks. Those kind of bugs. Yeah. But is that really going to hinder you from playing the game, though? <laughs> you know, you have a lot of people, like I said, you have a lot of diehard fans out there that are willing to play and everything, you know. Those kind of bugs, I really don't think those are just gonna. Those are really gonna hinder you, no matter how much. Like, what's that? What are we looking at? So these are basically the some of the things people were reporting as bugs, mm-hmm. and this is a blue post for those of you who don't know what a blue post is. It is a post from a representative of Blizzard. So, this blue post is basically saying that these things are regular occurrences. Torrance's hitboxes and their melee reach is slightly larger than other races. Being critically struck while using slash sit to sit does not cause abilities like enrage, blood craze, and reckoning to activate. Huh. Yeah. That's a lot of bugs. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just think it's gonna be fun to be able to experience WoW in its in its glory days. <laughs> Glory days, but also in its raw form, in a sense. Before all the quality of life things were added, like, the you know. The and everything. The, well, the, so it wasn't until about Wrath of the Lich King, I think, when they had the queue. Either Wrath of the, I think yeah, it was no, Wrath of yeah, the Lich it was, King. It was, because I remember, because I started playing, I started playing with, um... What's that one? The second expansion. Or the first expansion, whichever one was. Um, Burning the, Crusade. Yeah, that's yes. when I first started playing. Where we had Burning to manually find groups. Yeah. And then it and then it was Wrath of the Lich King that came next, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't until Wrath of the Lich King that we that all those like the raid fighters <coughs> started coming in. Yeah, because all we were doing when we played together, we would just Alright, Q for a dungeon. Q for a dungeon. Okay, what gear did you get? What gear? <laughs> okay, let's go. Q for a dungeon. Dead yeah. mines. Dead mines. Yeah, dude. Now you like now like if you're still playing out there, you could like literally just manually decide which one you want to go for. Yep. Oh man. Yeah, I just want to see what it's like to go through that again. To use summoning stones. <laughs> to have to. Do 40 man raids. Oh, jeez. Now, that's going to be tough for the new players of the game because 40 man raids, the general rule was if you got an item, generally they were BOE, right? Which is? Um, buy non equip. Right. Um, what the raid leader would require you to do mm -hmm. is to equip the item before the raid continues on. Because if you don't, they don't want you selling the item because it could go to someone else in that 40-man raid. Because it's not just 10 people. It's not just 20 anymore. Right. It's 40. God damn. Yeah. So if you didn't put on the item, you would be booted out of the raid. Really? Yep. How would they know if you put on the, on the They thing would that... inspect you. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Really? Yep. They would inspect you. But, like, what's the, like, what's the harm of, like... Of not of like of get like why would you boot them if they don't equip it like what's so bad about that even so, if even if it's gonna go to another person even if they sell it and it goes to another person why is it because they put in all that hard work and then you got the gear and you're just giving it away yes it, that's exactly why oh. because also you had to be in a big time guild in order to even be like qualified to get into a forty man raid or have connections right or have good gear which at the time i didn't have <laughs> you know and you couldn't trade items either wow that's <laughs> that's that's that wow <laughs> just wow dude <laughs> yeah, stuff like that it's a lot of stuff that you know it was a little stricter and those were the days when you were on Ventrilo. If you don't know what Ventrilo is, oh my it was God. the, uh, I guess you could say, prepubescent uh, Discord. Discord. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> literally, dude, you could not talk. Only the raid leader could talk at all times. Really? No one else could talk. So you could join, you could join that Ventrilo, but you would be muted automatically yes either you would be muted or they would give you the ability to you know be responsible and let you be able to talk in an emergency right damn because remember it's 40 people imagine 40 people yelling in one chat oh yeah well, yeah that's already bad enough you know that's just like that just like reminds me of like back in um uh what's it called I'll, I'll call it I'll call it PUBG Classic. <laughs> I'll call it PUBG Classic. And that's just like going into the loading screen where people will like pick up the gun and start shooting, and then you would like, especially when you're about to drop and you're all just sitting in the plane, you just hear all these people fucking talking. And that's hey a, guys, let's go to Pekadale. Uh, exactly, dude. And that's like that's a hundred people in that plane. Oh. So yeah, forty people. God, I I could only like. Ugh. Yeah, dude. C and PUBG. Hot mics in freaking WoW Classic. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, man. I remember uh, 
I remember a long I remember a long time ago, um, back before you even lived in this place, the old place that you lived. I remember going over to your house and like every time we would go out, you would have Victrilo on. Yeah, but yeah. But you would take like a stapler and you'd put it on your push to talk button. And I, I like at first I didn't understand why until <laughs> one day I get on Ventrilo and then I tried talking and then like I get this feedback in my ears. I'm like, Oh my god, that's that's too much. <laughs> it's like, that's a dick move. Uh, yeah, I'm a troll. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But that that really brings back the days, man. That really does. Because I remember I had to convince my dad so hard to get me fucking wow. <laughs> yeah, because I remember that was back when you were playing. You were working at, at GameStop. Yeah, GameStop. And my dad and I actually went to your store while you were to working and bought yep, it from yep. you. My gosh, yeah, that's that's old, man. That's really. I worked old. at GameStop for a little bit as the uh, senior game advisor. Jeez, yeah, man. Uh, this was shortly after Burning Crusade. Was it? Yeah. Because I remember I went in there and I bought the, I bought the original, and this was actually before <clears throat> what's it called? Um, the Battle Chess even came out. Yeah, yeah. It was before the Battle Chess. I bought the original and I bought the expansion, and I bought the subscription to. It was like, like eighty bucks altogether. It's like damn, and then like I played it for a little bit, and then like I just stopped completely. This guy, <laughs> you know what's funny though? Speaking of GameStop, what they hired me because I was like, in the interview, I was like, yeah, I run a guild. Yeah. And then she got what the manager was all impressed and shit. Like, oh really? So what? What do you play? And I was like, for the horde. And she's no. like, oh no, <laughs> for the alliance. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Nowadays, it's like, oh, you playing some Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, which is funny, too, that I say that, because when I went to Best Buy to go pick up my HD60S from, yeah, yeah. from Elgato, not sponsored, though, by the way, um, while um, I, did a, I did a price check, I did a price match on that, okay? So I did a price match on that, and while we were waiting for an override, the guy was asking me, Oh, so what do you like to stream? Fortnite? <laughs> I was like, what do you oh. like to- Fortnite? I was like, no, nah, man. Oh, like, Apex? I'm like, no, dude, no. I was like, oh, what do you stream? I was like, I'm not your average streamer, you know? I don't play, like... We're I don't- variety streamers. Exactly. We're not your mainstream, like, mainstream streamers. We don't play, you know... Like One game. Apex or Fortnite or PUBG. I mean, yes, we stream PUBG, but that's every now and then, you know? We have our own games that we want to stream. Sometimes we'll stream GTA. Sometimes I'll stream PUBG, Destiny 2, um, Anthem. And recently, I've actually started streaming Horizon Zero Dawn. Hell yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I... Like oh, when I was, love when again? I, dude, fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> like when I started stream, when I started streaming, that I was like, fuck, I miss how good this game looks. One game that I'm really excited to play again, which I have not opened yet, and unfortunate, unfortunately, I had to buy that game used because they didn't have a new copy. Yeah, yeah. God of War. <sighs> I can't wait to stream that game, dude. I'm so fuck excited yeah. about that game. So I, you're gonna experience on there. Was that? You're gonna experience it on the PS4. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I still need to play my God of War. You still haven't played it yet? No, I haven't played so many games on my <laughs> shit. Dude. Yeah, I know, dude. You have so many games to play. Like I was gonna try and play those games, like particularly this one on Final Fantasy Sundays on a Monday, but I have to dedicate more time to uh, Triple T, unfortunately. But during the weekends that I'm able to stream on Sunday with Modware, I. I mean, I'd hope we could stream together on these kinds of things still, but <laughs> uh, yeah, because I mean, I'm just for me, I just gotta figure some things out and get into the swing of editing and right. do more. So well, we're going on a new new type of like, how would you say, a new a new way of streaming. new strategy, new strategy. There you go, a new strategy when it comes to our streams and. The growth of T3. So, I mean, today is technically our first beta test. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the new, with the camera setup, the new layout, and the fact that you're not seeing me at my own home anymore. I'm over here <laughs> at Perspective's house. 
So this um, is the studio. Yeah, sir? pretty much. Oh, sorry, studio. Sorry, <laughs> studio. Um, but yeah, I feel like this way is gonna be it's gonna be much more beneficial for T three. I honestly think so, to be honest. And I, I'm I'm liking the way that it is, you know, to be actually here in the studio and then actually make it look cleaner a little bit. Well, it's kind of dope because the um, the interactions are different. We're here, um, but really, I want to see how it works out once uh, Modware is here. Right. You know. Once Modware's here. So. Work on it. We'll work on it. You know, like I said, beta testing first day. But anyways, um, I got another topic here that we want to uh, talk about. Bullshit hour? Uh, I mean, it is about that time, bro. Is we it? Actually, we were like, yeah, it's going to be a short stream. Nah, uh, it's actually uh, almost 8.30. And we, you know, for those of you that watch us, we, you know that we end at 9. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, I'm down for let's do right, Fuck it. Let's do some bullshit hour. I want to see this because I know you showed <laughs> me this. I know you showed me this and I saw the video of it. I saw the video. Okay, dude. So, <laughs> this is up from Deadspin.com, but I did see this on the news, too. I saw this on Facebook. <laughs> oh, man. I saw this on the news at work, bro. I started cracking up. So, a dude drop kicks freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger, dude. And he didn't even... he Okay, so according to Schwarzenegger, which I believe because he's a badass, even at his age right now, he's still a badass... He said, oh, yeah, I just thought it was somebody that pushed into me. <laughs> I, I'm bad at a freaking oh. Arnold voice, but my I'm also congested right now, too, because allergies. But he said that he thought it was someone in the crowd that pushed him. That's it. Right. But no, the dude put his heart and soul into drop kicking this fool. And I think we'll be able to watch that here. So... I get he gets up right. He's about to leave this area right here. It's like taking pictures. Yeah, right. he takes pictures first, and then I think it's like no, I think it's like halfway through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like halfway through, and I think what's funny and then is that I think I kind of saw the guy creep out. Or does he come out from behind? Right. Let's see. Let's see. Cause I don't know if he's coming from like the the back of the like the very back. I thought he he dropped it to him from like right here. Cause he turns around. Yeah, it's about to happen, right here. Boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check this out. Hold on, let me see that. So what's funny is that when he gets up, you can actually see somebody. Like, trying to creep and peek, like, to see when's, like, the right moment. Where, I where? I think it's, like, supposed to be, like, right over here somewhere. Yeah, see, right there. See, right there. Hold on. This guy right here. <laughs> you can see him, like, like, trying to get, like, slowly creep right behind him. And then just out of nowhere, here he comes. He put... This motherfucker put his heart and see, soul. Look, see, see, see? He put his heart and soul <laughs> in that drop kick, dude. And Arnold was not phased at all, dude. Like, he's like, yeah, you know, I understand the concerns and everything, but I'm fine. I'm not. <laughs> and he chose not to press charges. Hey, at least that's, you know, that's very nice of him. It's nice of him, but dude, man, Arnold. <laughs> He would have just <laughs> killed that fool, man. The guy's still freaking built at his age, too, you know? Hell yeah. And the fact that he's coming out with another Terminator movie, <laughs> I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Oh, God. He's coming out with another Terminator movie? That's what I heard. Those are rumors. Those are rumors. That's what I heard. He's supposedly working on... A new uh, Terminator movie. He's supposed to be coming back. And on top of that, with... <laughs> I dominate this grandpa. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> on, on top of that, on, on top of that, um, 
going with like kind of like the little topic of you know older people coming back with new movies my favorite duo that's going to be coming out with supposedly there's a picture that was leaked with them holding their with holding their fingers up with four was rush hour hell fuck yeah yeah dude i'm looking forward to that too dude they confirmed that actually is it confirmed they they were the ones that confirmed it oh they were i think i saw this about Maybe I three s- weeks ago? I saw it on Twitter. Ago? I saw it on Twitter. That's how I know. I don't remember how I saw it, but it was two or three weeks ago when I saw it. I went to work in a really good mood. Hell yeah. <laughs> really excited about that, too. Hell fucking yeah, dude. Well, that's funny, man. Fucking getting drop kicked and not being phased. That's how, that's, that, that just really shows how much of a badass you are. That's Arnold know? for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I, know, I know that's not, uh, every time you're in school I just see that picture I just keep fucking laughing it's just like they stopped like they decided to stop it in like in the right moment you know <laughs> fucking funny as hell god damn <laughs> Jesus uh, yeah that's my bullshit topic yeah. <laughs> uh, did I have anything bullshit to talk about I don't really think I did now, let's see. Yeah, do you have any bullshit to talk about? Uh, let me double check, cause I might have a couple. I might have something in here, but uh. Oh, one quick thing that I want to talk about, not really a bullshit topic, but this really ties in back to one of my other topics about um, E3, uh, games that are um, for E3 and everything. Mm. So, for those of you who are excited about Cyberpunk 2077 as much as I am because of how fucking amazingly gorgeous that game looks, stay tuned at E3 because we will be getting a release date for that game. Nice. So, that's definitely something to look forward to. Can I mention to something real fast? I think it's kind of funny. Uh, maybe we're sharing to our <laughs> viewers tonight. Um, the uh, as you see here, as well as some of my other personal photos down there. Uh, don't look too close to it, but uh, <laughs> look at that face right there. Oh. Look at that cute face. <laughs> anyway, that cute face. <laughs> Sony PlayStation Classic, thirty dollars with promo at Fry's. That's so bad. <laughs> and to think this was ninety nine ninety nine. And to think this game was this the system the you know the classic was highly anticipated too. Yes, it was a huge but disappointment. Yet, yeah, now it's a huge disappointment, and prices just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. Take it from Filipino Gamer. Oh, yeah, definitely from him, bro. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, he spent 100, like, 100 bucks on that or, like, 100 and something Pre-ordered plus it, tax. Pre-ordered everything. it. You know, he got it. He was disappointed as hell. Box quality, the overall quality of the system itself, the software, PAL versions. Like, come on. We already went over this before, though. But anyway, 30 bucks if anyone's interested. <laughs> but at the same time... You don't want to... I mean, they're already losing money on it now, but you don't want to really support something that uh, was half-assed. Okay. Oh, I do have one more. Ah! It's freaking Facebook! (laughs) Now, I do have one thing that I want to get your opinion, and hopefully if anybody in chat right now wants to chime in, I want to hear your opinion... What? On Mr. Sparkly Vampire Boy... Taking oh, the mantle of Batman. Bro. <laughs> I want to hear. So I want to hear that. Okay. I want to know your opinion now. Because of <laughs> what happened with what I okay. So this, let me tell you what I said about Batfleck. Okay. Give him a chance. Maybe he'll be good because we didn't expect Heath Ledger. Bless that fool. Mm-hmm. Heath Ledger to be. The best freaking Joker. The he was such a good Joker, man. Oh yeah, hands but, down, hands down. In the live action, yes. 
Like but when it comes to animated, Mark Hamill still. Mark has Hamill to be always, always, always for the animated series, man. The laugh, everything, the demeanor, shoot. Hell yeah, dude. But um, yeah, I was watching some documentaries on that, and he gets animated on the mic, dude. Even yeah, though I've he's seen, not on there, I've seen that. Yeah, yep. he's animated on that mic. But I said, give him a chance. Maybe like he'll be good, right? Right. But. He was okay, I guess. See, I... He wasn't great? I've never seen any movies with Batfleck. What? You didn't watch Justice League? You I didn't, didn't watch... Oh, Batman I see as much. Okay, with Batman vs. Superman, I, I saw a little bit of it. Uh-huh. I would see a little bit of it. Um, but the whole, like... Oh, you know, the voice changer to change his voice so it's not recognizable and everything. Kind of threw me out because I was so used to the Christian Bale Batman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Him animating his voice. Now, that's getting into character. It is. That's really getting into character. Now, with the voice changer, and, you know, some people have mixed feelings with that. So well, Christian Bale, just to put it out there, he is a method actor. So... Um, he really gets into his roles. Like there was one role where he actually lost a lot of weight. I saw that. Yeah. I did see that. I saw. I I think I I read about that too. Yeah, yeah. But you know, with bat with with the bat flick, uh, I would like seeing seeing snippets of him in action as Batman, and let alone Bruce Wayne. You know, when he's not in the suit, makes sense. I mean, um, he was okay, so I'll agree with that. He was okay. Yeah. Now with, with Pat, what the fuck is his name? Patterson? Pattinson? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I've never watched any of the Twilight movies. And, you know, I'm glad I didn't because I wasn't into this kind of shit. But I've never, I've never heard of him, you know, acting in any other movies or TV shows other than Twilight. So, I don't know how he's going to do... As Batman, to be honest. I'm pretty sure he has been in other movies, but I understand what you're saying. Because he, like, he blew up doing Twilight. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. But uh, the way I see it is, okay, so I gave gave Ben Affleck a chance, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, no... Nothing against his acting ability, but, you know, there, there could have been... A better Batman out there, right? Right. This time around, I mean, he's got... I guess if you put him in the right makeup and maybe colored his hair to like a dark brown, Mm -hmm. maybe he could get the look down. Like pull it off. Right? But it's up to him to really like make it come alive. Right. See and that's see and that's what I'm worried about because you're you know as okay with with uh, with Christian Bale you know when he was acting as Batman slash Bruce Wayne that's two separate characters you have to be yeah you know because Bruce Wayne has a separate demeanor than Batman and vice versa now how is you know that's you know if if he wants to if if Pattinson wants to make this work. He has to be able to do that. He has to be able to, you know, become two separate identities and be able to pull it off. So, but um, there have already on there has already been petitions out yeah. there, like they have already started to cancel his role. Did they cancel his role? Really? Or are I know they're trying to get him off of the role. Right. I don't know if they actually canceled. No, it, not canceled. It's like something like that. They, they just they're just doing a petition so they don't want him to be Batman. Yeah. They, they want them to second, like do choose a somebody second else. Choice. Well, there's another guy that people were saying I don't remember exactly what his name was. That's. Uh... But um, I see where you know how like people would really feel that he'd be good, mm-hmm. but. Having the look right off the bat, just naturally having the look of a Bruce Wayne, doesn't make you a good Batman. Plus, being a fan of Batman 
doesn't make you a good choice for Batman. You know, a fan is a fan, but, you know, we'll just have to see. Like I said, we'll have to see. I mean, you never know what will happen. Mm-hmm. You know who I want as a Joker, though? That I'm surprised they have not? Fucking Willem Dafoe. Oh, I think I know. That fool who's like... The guy who played uh, Green Goblin. Green Goblin, yeah, yeah, yeah. He absolutely killed that role. He did. Because, you know, he was able to, you know, remain that... You know, that fatherly figure, composure, being respectful and everything. And then immediately just switch and become delusional and then become, like, become become the Green Goblin. My favorite part in Spider-Man when he uh, when he was switching from roles. Yeah. So one of them is when he's in his room talking to the mirror, right? Yes. Walking to the mirror. That's that one, one of my yes. favorite parts. Another one of my favorite parts is when he's in the car with uh, with Peter. And uh, he's like, like he goes from good mm-hmm. to himself, and he's like trying to talk to him in the car, all like fucking. And then when they're having dinner too, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just like, dang, dude, this guy is crazy. And then the ending. That the was ending another too. good part too, because he becomes like very, he becomes very sincere and everything, saying that he treated him like a father, and then immediately he just snaps into the Green Goblin, tells him Godspeed, and tries to kill him. And then once he gets impaled by his own glider, then he's back to normal. <coughs> like, look at this picture. Look at that. Yeah. How can you not cast him? I've been seeing a lot of that recently. A lot right? of that particular picture. And I think it's just because the whole Batman thing going on right now. But we are not. We don't even know um, if it's going to be like a Batman Origins. Or if this is just going to be a one-shot movie, you know? That is true. That is true. Like Batman Forever. <laughs> we don't talk about that one. Then. Oh, jeez. Well, one thing that I will agree on, and um, I've actually been talking to some of my coworkers at work, that we can also all agree on with Robert Pattinson as Batman. A Batman Beyond movie. Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond. Him playing. If any of you guys who watched the animated series, uh, I forgot what the, I forgot what the main character's name who takes on the new Batman. Um, that as him as Robert Pattinson as him, and then as an older Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Oh man, that's old school, dude. I'm so congested right now. Yeah, it sounds like oh, that, dude. Can hear it. Oh. Oh, holy hell, fool. Good grief, for shit. No, nah, but Michael Keaton as Batman was dope. Oh, yeah. So. Well, that pretty much sums up our bullshit hour, yeah? Yeah. We gotta end it. I'm getting too congested right now. I gotta... <laughs> we gotta stop. Yeah, that's all right, man. Yeah, plus we're hitting our time, so... Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, go ahead. Like, don't forget to tune in next week. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday at seven thirty, uh, because you know obviously reasons. But next Wednesday at seven thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you liked what you saw today, please give us a follow here on Twitch, and to help us out on YouTube, follow us on YouTube as well. 100 follow or 100 subscribers will get us a custom URL so we're no longer doing bit.ly slash what yeah, you know dude. tttyt you know oh, or freaking youtube.com slash 5 abcdefg or, or if you look if you've looked at our recent ads go youtube and then slash look for tech the so, tech trio, so trio like <laughs> so that will definitely help us out beneficially a lot and it would mean a lot to us, you know, because then it'll it'll motivate us to push out more content for you guys, you know, especially if you guys are liking what we're doing here. So definitely help us out by subscribing on our YouTube channel. Don't forget, we also have a Facebook page where you can get all our latest ap- updates when it comes to what days that we're streaming or if we have to do a like an emergency cancel for that week or anything or any type of reschedule. Follow us on Facebook, the Tech Trio. 
and uh, like our page and anything like that. And then again, also follow us on Twitch so that we, you know, we get more uh, get more followers and help this community grow because we're not doing it just for ourselves. We're also doing it for you guys. It's we're all about the community. So yeah, we're here you. telling you the news, man. Exactly. Come on, help us Come help on, you. Man. Come on. That's pretty much. <laughs> all right now. Good night, everyone. Thanks again. Take care now. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.